I'll start off with like honestly just from the beginning with with uh, my career as Shikimo, if that's okay. Um, yeah. As it all kind of just ties into each other and kind of flows and everything. So in 2011, I was... Uh, 2010, 2011, I started really getting into electronic music. And I, I think my, my buddy showed... Me, my buddy showed me Bass Hunter, if I remember. And, like, he had uh, that song, like, Boat and Anna. If I'm not probably mm-hmm. botching the pronunciation of that. But the he showed me that song in, like... And I, like... I, like I think chemistry class or something like that. And I was like, what is this? Like, I need more of this in my life. And so I, I really dove into electronic music really hard. And I got really fixated on the trance for a while. And I was, um, I had played bass all through middle school and high school and everything in orchestra. And so I was, mm. I, I really liked, you know, yeah, I really like playing music and making music and stuff like that. So I'm like, oh, well, I wonder, wonder how people like this, um, you know, create music such and so I, I looked into it and saw um, and i was like oh okay digital audio workbench you know you get your software for it and everything so i downloaded like a free copy of F- fl studio and away i went i eventually bought the purchased the real copy and everything and started making trance music it was really bad trance music not gonna lie <laughs> so uh, everyone's got to start somewhere i suppose and so yeah. I, yeah i started yeah i started doing that and then kind of transitioned to more like progressive house like uh oh more in Juna Beats type of situation um, with like Spencer Brown and, and different guys like that, like uh, um, that kind of style of of music because it kind of trance, I feel like, progressed into that like progressive house. And then I tried my hand at ambient and then I, I, there was never really a genre or like a sound that I really, really liked and kind of stuck on for a long time. So I just kind of bounced around um, eventually went into like the chill out kind of like a chill step kind of situation. Um, Ooh. Yeah, which was it, it was still I was still kind of trying to find my find my way, so it wasn't like it wasn't anything great. You can I, I don't think you can actually even find any of my songs from that anywhere right now. I'd have to double check. Anyway, um, so continue with that, and then I, I I can't remember how, but one day I happened across uh, Mitch Murder and his song uh, After Hours Run, and I listened to it. I'm like, oh my god, this is so good! Like this is unlike anything I'd ever heard before, and so I dove into synthwave and that somehow was something that i really really like had a lot of fun creating and a lot of fun producing and so i i released a couple of synthwave songs i had my song vhs with doom roar that was like the first like true synthwave song i did and then i did uh i think i did i do data after that if i'm not mistaken i think i did data after that and then i released my sunset cp which got way more traction than any other song any other project or anything that i'd ever done before i'm like yeah. wow okay i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with this and see where it takes me and it's, it's been a lot of fun ever since 